portable half face respirator is the safest option for some jobs, but they aren't always necessary. If you are working at a job that can be done safely with a dust mask or disposable respirator, it is important to know the difference between the two so you can select the best disposable mask for the job you are performing. If you would like more information on half or full face respirators, check out the lesson QPE, Respiratory Protection, and our other respirator safety lessons. In this lesson, we will discuss the hazards dust masks and disposable respirators can be used for, the differences between dust masks and disposable respirators, as well as appropriate uses for all disposable type masks. Airborne hazards are a serious health and safety concern in the workplace. Employers should take steps to protect workers from exposure to these hazards. Employees should also be aware of the risks associated with airborne hazards and take precautions to protect themselves. Airborne hazards are particles, vapors, or gases that are suspended in the air and can be inhaled by workers. Common airborne hazards include dusts, fumes, mists, and aerosols. Airborne hazards can cause a variety of health effects, including irritation of the eyes, irritation of the nose, throat, and lungs, coughing, sneezing, difficulty breathing, cancer, and in some cases, death. Dust masks are not NIOSH-approved disposable filtering face pieces. They can be worn for comfort while mowing, gardening, sweeping, and cleaning to protect against non-toxic nuisance dust. These masks aren't respirators and won't protect you from dangerous dusts, gases, or vapors. Dust masks are also different from cloth and surgical type masks that are designed to limit contaminated particulates that could come out of the mouth. The dust mask's purpose is only to prevent solid airborne debris from entering your respiratory system and causing irritation. If there is a large amount of dust, you may want to consider using a reusable dust mask that has interchangeable filters or changing your disposable mask periodically through your workday. When using a dust mask, be sure to only use for contaminants the dust mask is intended for. If additional airborne contaminants are discovered, discontinue working until an appropriate respirator can be obtained. Not use if the mask is contaminated in any way and not reuse dust masks or share with others. Most disposable respirators are labeled N95, which means they have been tested to block up to 95% of non-oil-based particles. There are also R, resistant to oil, and P, oil-proof, ratings as well as filters that can filter out 99 or 100, anything above 99.7% of airborne contaminants. Consider whether a valved or unvalved respirator will be your best option. Valved respirators are designed to keep heat and moisture out of the respiratory system, making them more comfortable to wear for long periods of time. They only shield the wearer from outside particles in one direction. The valve does not prevent germs or virus particles from being breathed through it. N95 and P95 ratings are available for valved respirators. The disposable respirator's effectiveness is evaluated by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, NIOSH, and is approved by OSHA. A fit test is required before the use of disposable respirators, and either a quantitative QNFT fit test or a qualitative QLFT fit test is acceptable. When wearing a disposable respirator, you should observe the following safety guidelines. Do not use disposable respirators for lead, asbestos, cadmium, gases, vapors, fumes, or smoke. Wearers of disposable respirators should conduct a fit check each time they put on a respirator. Only choose respirators that display a label or statement of certification by NIOSH, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, on the packaging or respirator itself. Read all instructions provided by the manufacturer and adhere to the recommendations regarding the proper use, maintenance, cleaning, care, and warnings. Confirm that a good face seal is achieved by pinching the metal bar around your nose 
and making sure there are no gaps between the mask and your face. Never share disposable respirators with anyone. Keep respirators protected from moisture, dust, or other contaminants at all times. And cut the straps on a mask to ensure that it is not accidentally reused. Discard immediately if, at any time, the disposable respirator becomes damaged or deformed, no longer forms a seal, becomes visibly wet, becomes difficult to breathe through, or becomes contaminated in any way. If your workspace frequently has airborne contaminant hazards, consider other ways to reduce exposure, such as complete work that creates contaminants in a contained area that won't spread to other areas, use an air filtration system designed to filter the specific contaminants, or use wet cleanup methods that limit the stirring up of debris and contaminants into the air. To conclude, disposable dust masks and respirators are a safe and cost-effective option for some jobs. Do not use this type of respiratory protection unless you are sure it will be sufficient for your job and you understand all safety guidelines related to their use. Use the right mask or respirator for the type of contaminants you are working with and discontinue use of any mask if it is contaminated or defective. If you have any questions about the use of disposable masks at your workplace, please speak to your supervisor. I'm McKenna, your safety trainer, reminding you to be careful and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel for more safety training. Also, follow us on social media for OSHA updates, free safety webinars, reminders on safety tips, techniques, and more. What are you waiting for? Like, follow, or subscribe today. And stay safe out there.